Hello everybody and welcome to my 55th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use text boxes on your worksheets. So again we need to go into design mode and I'm just going to drag the submit button down here and then go to insert and then we want to go down to this um, box down here which is text box with the little A B on it. Click that and highlight it across like this and then that's going to give us a text box that when we come out of design mode the user can type in just like this and if we go back into design mode and click on this and go into our properties the first thing I'm going to do is just change our font size up so bold 14 and then that's going to be that and um, what you can also do is you can have a link cell so if I put in a reference to a cell in here so sheet one a one and then that cell, that box then is going to be equal to whatever's in a one so we put something in a one it changes and if we change something in here then a one changes so that could be quite useful uh, but what we're going to do with this now is I'm going to show you how to take the value of this out into your code so in design mode let's give this a thing uh, a box I put username underscore text box and then let's copy that and then on our submit button in our code in here let's get rid of this and then all I want to do is create a variable so dim username as string and then username equals and I want this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot and then we want the name of our text box and then dot value what that's going to do is it's going to look at our workbook and then at our sheet and then within that sheet we could take the text box and then the value Make sure when naming your text boxes that you don't name them the same as any sheets or as the workbook because then you can get saving violations and you can lose all your work which is a massive pain in your ass and it's happened to me a few times before when I haven't noticed that I've called them the same thing. So just make sure you don't get any violations like that. And then let's just make a message box that says Hello Username Your request will now be processed So let's close this down Come out of design mode So let's fill in our name here So Matt Sands And then submit and Then hello Matt Sands Your request will now be processed so that is how you use a text box. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. And the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a, a box with a drop down in it. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.